Okay, here's the Moodle uh, page uh, open for land survey facility. Go down to section 7, robot analysis. It um, the demo sheet for robot. Open it up, and we're going to use section um, sheet two. Just print that out or make a sketch, etc. Let's minimize that. Okay, open up robot. 3D frame design. Click on bars, which are beams and columns. It's over there on the right hand side. Just move that dialog box to one side. Okay, go to zero zero. Stream here is high of three. Just be aware on your left hand side in the top, there's uh, grids there, so you can follow those along. Okay, beam seven meters. Column three meters. That's the first bay, second bay. Beam seven meters. Column three meters. Okay, this is a three body diagram. We've just got to add some support conditions there. Uh, three of them are fixed. Okay, select fixed and just click turn those on. Okay. Now there's no uh, names or numbers there, so we'll just uh, go down to the bottom left and uh, there's two dialog, there's two little icons there which will um, enable those. There they are, they're on now. Okay, we'll just put in some uh, tri sections here. Okay, you could go to a steel, but even if steel wasn't in there, you can go to any one you want. Just double click, there's concrete, just click on steel. There you go, make sure there are UK sections. And we're going to put in a universal column. Select the size. Add, and it's in the section dialog box. Okay, now UB, universal beam. Okay, add, close, it's now in the section dialog box. Okay, just select the section there, and then just click on your sections diagram down below here, and as you click on them, you're update, updating to the newer section. Okay, we're just going to put in a heavier section here for the beams. There you go. Now you notice down the bottom, uh, there's uh, the sections are there. Just turn on the sections, little angle thing, and then just uh, click on them, and you'll notice down below it's putting in the sections. So you can just check after you've updated the sections just to make sure they're um, they're what you wanted. Okay. Turn off those again. Okay, we've got to uh, look at the load conditions here. So there's a little icon over on the right hand side. Click on that. Load types. Dead is permanent and live is variable. So there we go, live load. Variable, as we now know it. Okay, we're putting on a bar load, which means a beam or column load, point load, UDL and the like. We're putting on a UDL there in the first beam of 45 kilonewtons downward. Just be aware, X is left to right, positive, right to left, negative. And Z is positive upward and negative downward so we're putting in a load of minus 45 kilonewtons add click on the bar in question okay next trapezoidal load minus 30 minus 45 and there's a relative and absolute uh, coordinate uh, ends at the side so just go 0.25 
0.75 as per the drawing add taking the beam okay okay um new load type wind load add okay so we're going the wind load so there's one down the node node loads are points are uh point loads are moments so we're just going to put point load of nine kilonewtons x that means nine horizontal left to right add that click on node two okay next one's a bar load which is the udl it's a x load it's minus 20 because it's going from right to left add Okay, close that down and uh, bottom left there's an icon click on it that will show you you your loads only the so now loads are sorted so go to loads manual combinations dialog okay you'll notice the live load and wind load are there you double chevron arrow click on that and you notice the partial factors on 1.5 for variable and wind apply and close okay now there's a calculator up in the top hit that if there's no um, error coming up that means your calculations have been success successful okay now you just got to show what your uh, results are so go to results diagrams turn on my moment fz fx reactions uh, labels on description and differential for the positive and negative values apply close okay it's not showing the reactions here so I'll go into um, loads again Or sorry results again diagrams reactions don't forget to tick descriptions on the reactions apply close okay so there's the reactions and moments green is the highest uh, hogging moment the red is the highest sagging moment Okay, go to diagrams and results. We'll just unclick all these here. Off everything. Okay. Apply. Close. Right, uh, we want to copy this uh, beam along. So we just go to edit, edit, move copy. Now we're going to copy it 10 times, so point number repetitions 10, 0, comma, 4, 0. That means that we're going to move it 4 meters in the y direction, that is into the drawing page. I haven't selected anything, so the uh, robot's going to assume I selected everything. So there's the dialog box. Yes to everything. Yes again. Okay. Now press down the shift button and press down on the uh, uh, wheel on the mouse and you can rotate. So, okay, that's our building there pretty good okay let's turn on results and just turn on moments my uh, 
and it's just the first beam portal rather is showing so hit the calculator again yes and they're all updated just turn off those moments again okay we want to find some wind bracing so there's columns up there in the bars we'll just change that for the sections hit one of the steel sections double click uh, select CHS this instance add that's selected okay so that's actually our section now CHS as you can see in the dialog box okay let's just put in some bracing then Yes, uh, it's just a uh, dialog box just to say that could be somewhat changed um, conditions with new members. Okay, so we're putting in some diagonal bracing down here at the end. And I'm going to put some diagonal bracing at the other end. This could be copied across. If one desired, just a few members, so I'll we'll just uh, put them in by uh, individually. Okay, so there's diagonal bracing at both ends. Now, certainly, if you had to bring bracing along for quite a distance up, uh, up along one side or along the roof or such like, it certainly would be advisable to um, use poppy. Okay, just uh, recap the results. Let's just turn on MOI. Right, there you go. Let's just turn off the moments again. Enable the sections again, an angle, and there's your drawing.